Hello buddy, welcome back to Blood Monkey. Today I am so happy to be playing this. I have been a sucker for this kind of game for an eternity, eternity now. Uh, played it all back in um, Congregate where I played uh, Warp Omen, I think it is. Uh, I really should know since I've been playing the shit of that too. Um, where you have your deck. And you upgrade this deck, removing cards, buying new cards, getting rid of the new cards, and dying a lot. Um, though it has to be in a roguelike, I don't mind, I like this. Though I am looking forward to when I have upgraded everything from all of these. So yeah. Anyway, I... Yeah, um... If you want, you can go play with me. Uh, uh, it doesn't work. I don't think. I don't think it works. Okay. Uh, I was, I said see. Oh yeah. No it works. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Welcome. Um. Slayer Spire. It's an awesome game. It's really amazing. I have enjoyed watching the hacking shit out of this game. So yeah. Now it's my turn to finally play this, and it's gonna be amazing. I might be quiet, I don't quite know the ropes of this game yet, but I am so ready. The Ironclad, the remaining soldier of the Ironclad, sold his soul to harness the money energies. Or the deadly hunters from the Falklands, and eradicating foes with daggers and poisons. Hey, hey I just unlocked poison. Um, I'm gonna be playing Ironclad first because well, Ironclad is the first character you get. I thought I could delete my progress, but mm, don't quite want to go into that. Uh, so yeah, anyway, Slater Spire, let's go add into his 7 billion damage that's already been dealt to him or something. Um, can I just, no, just, yeah, combine it, yeah, I know. Anyway. Uh, I don't want to start with, an, with a bonus. Yes! Okay. Uh, it's not that I don't want to start with a bonus. It's I want to show this game from the minimum. I, I don't know some, but oh well. Uh, yeah. We want to get from floor 1. Or floor 0, we are now. Until floor 51. Uh, we have to complete it through here. Um... We can, you can go several ways to complete this, you can go as many question mark or mystery machines as the game call it. Or you can go the leech, you can go bonfires, so you don't have to fight as many. You can go relics, you can go cards, you can go many and as few cards as possible. I'm just gonna try to get through this game. Uh, my first victory, my first and only victory in this game, I had 36 cards. That's a lot. My deck. All the time. I took one every single time I could. Anyway, um... The start looks kind of set for me. Um... I don't know what I'm actually going for, but... That looks... Ooh, that could actually also be good. Plus four mysteries. And then straight into it, at least. So I don't really have lost that much health. That's good though, it ends with a shop, that's not good. I don't like shops, early shops. But yeah, this is the game. You have your cards, you play them, they go into the discard, they get shuffled in when you don't have any more cards to draw. And then you're just here to uh, eradicate all enemies. It's, amazing. it's funny, I like it. Uh, I might play dumb, I haven't played it for a while, I think I played it for like an hour or so. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Why did I block there? I did make damage anyway. <gasps> oh my gosh, it strings me up. Uh, so yeah. I like this game. I like this game a lot if you haven't heard or can't hear it from me. I like this game. Uh, I don't like that phone clap. I like the phone clap. Uh, remove cap from deck. Sure. Let's remove strikes. 
it's going to the next, which is, which is a combat. Uh, let's kill this first line. And just take the damage head on. More damage and lucky. And I can kill him now. Uh, so Iron Wave is actually a really good one, but Armament is also good. Anger is... It's okay, it, it fills up your hand, so unless you have something to unfill your hand, it's... Otherwise, it's really good. Either unfill your hand or just keep, keep going. If you get a specific uh, uh, relic, anger is really good, but I don't have that relic, so... Let's go for the iron way from now. Yeah, iron way. Sure, I'm coming straight up into a shot, so that's actually really good. Uh, do I care to losing more health? I'm sure, I can lose more health. To defense, that is actually the best outcome. Now, whenever we come to a bonfire, we can choose to rest, or you can choose to upgrade a card. I'm gonna rest now because I've taken so much damage just from getting stuff and upgrading stuff. So it's. Ooh. Oh. Strike, strike. Iron away. Now I can't do any defensive maneuvers, otherwise you will gain strength. Whenever you fight again this Kremlin knob, he his move is enrage. Whenever he enrages, you can't basically do anything. Uh what's to do no I have all my strikes here. Yeah, I have all my strikes, it'll be better for me to just No, I that one first. I could have done more damage, but oh well. Uh, it can't block, but it will give him two strength. Strength continues for the rest of the combat. It's really bad. Uh, I should probably say there are multiple kind of cards. You have the attack card, you have the skill card. Whenever you use a non attack card, it gains strength. Or whenever you play a strength card in this case. Uh, Thunderclap. Uh, the kill, so strike and that. Boom! War pain. I'm gonna pick up, upgrade two random skills. Oh, that's not gonna be good. Mm, double your strength. Yeah, because if I take up, if I pick up war pain now, upgrade two random skills. I only have those. That will be have a chance to be upgraded. That's not good. So if you go in limit break. It's really good if I get any strength affecting cards or uh, powers. So let's do that, and it got upgraded. That's good. Let's go to the shop. The shop is amazing. It gives you all kinds of goodies. Um, you can buy relics, which are displayed over here. Ask me what they do, and I will tell you. Uh, I can only afford blood pile. Really want kunai? Sorry about that. I really want kunai, it's a really good card. Uh, feel no pain. That's good if you go with a sauce thingy, but I don't really do that. Flame barrier. That's actually really good. I'm gonna pick up flame barrier. I still have money for that. I really want to do that because then I, because of have burning blood, I gain 6 HP at the end of every combat and 2 at the start of every combat, so I basically gain 8 HP, 8 health every time I get into combat, which is good if I can protect myself, which means I I want to take that and then go for protective, either, either that or, yeah, I'm gonna take that. Can't do anything else. I have one gold, and let's go take my first treasure chest. If you end your turn without block gains, it's block. That's really nice. I could have used that thunder. 
I like to go after the, the elite. It gets it, it gives you a, a random relic every time, and I really like that. Uh, so bonfire. So let's rest here, and then let's miss up a card there. If I don't take too much damage here. I don't have any strength, so vulnerable. Mm. I can't do anything, so let's take the flame barrier. Have him attack himself. And strike. Uh, I should have bash first. On the club and uh, strike. Uh, so let's take a. How about we're gonna cleave everybody? Cleave the will damage to all enemies. So if there's multiple enemies, this is a really good card. Either that or a pummel strike. I don't have the energy to conserve that, but it's really good. I'm gonna take pummel strike. Let's go and smith up a card. How about we smith up this? Uh, flame bear is really good. Another lead. Lagwan in. Lagavulan. Lagavulan. So yeah, he's asleep until I damage him. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's awoke him because I don't think I'll get a, a better. Starting hand to do so. So let's evoke him. Awake him. I don't have any strength. But he's gonna deal damage. He's gonna do a lot of damage. Let's do that and then strike him. I should have done a clap to prolong his uh, vulnerability. But. Okay, I should have done that. Uh, flame barrier. Did you strike him? Yeah, I can take him too. Let's strike. Strike. because now he will is a strategic I'm gonna get a neg negative effect so let's give let's just strike him with everything I got shall we Ooh, I can long with that but I don't I'm gonna not gonna deal that much damage but I'm gonna prolong it for a long shot so it's ready until next time that's good uh, I should have done this effect. Minus two, minus two, that's gonna be rough getting around. How about a That's all I can do is let's prolong his vulnerability. And let's strike him for as much as possible. Strike! Dreamcatcher! Ooh, I cannot get cards when I'm asleep. Uh, you can also choose to skip cards, which is in some cases good. I think I'm gonna do that here because I have a card. It's not really, it it's good card, but it costs two, and I don't have the the energy counter to do to do that. And if I go up here and then hope for an easy opponent, which it wasn't, but oh well. Uh, the one. He's charging out, so he needs to die next. Uh, vulnerability to all. Strike and strike. 
here it comes. There's just gonna be a lot of damage next turn. If we don't kill him. So if we do that, uh, oh yeah, I don't have enough of the flame right. Limit break! Yay! Okay. I should not have gotten limit break. It's just filling in my inventory. Okay, um... We can take down one of them, so let's take down him. And then leave him to the last. And hope I get enough to kill him. Vulnerable. Damage. And damage. I got it. Every time he got hit, he would just have pumped off his own attack. Uh, Twin Strike is really good. Rampage. Every time this kind of play, increases damage for this combat. It's really good for longer combats. I think I'm gonna take that. We're going in for quite a long combat. Another flame berry or a block body slam. I don't quite know how to make it up a block deck yet. Uh, so let's just let's, let's just skip. Let's see into the slime buff. It's really scary as well. So I'm gonna get slain. No, whenever he gets below half, he splits into two, two small slimes. So I'm gonna want to get him as close to half as possible. I should have done that first. Slime crush. Now I really need to do damage him. Uh, so yeah, rampage. I don't have enough damage to do it. Oh, God damn it. I'm gonna take a lot of damage now. Ow! Almost right. Whenever it gets below 70 players, try to keep him above 70. In the next turn, try and get him as low below that. Because when he goes below, he doesn't do anything this turn. So now he splits. But he split with his current health, so now he splits with that instead of 70. Or 58 instead of 70. That's good. 58 for both. Oh, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna, they're both gonna put a negative effect on you, which is not good. Well, vulnerable, I should have probably done that before I did the other thing I did, which is to rampage. Oh, the slam. I was like, why do I have 20 cards? Actually, 21. Uh, yeah. Flame barrier. Let's just try to mitigate as much damage as possible. He splits next time, so let's try and damage him. He split with 21, now there's multiple this level ones. Uh, so yeah, let's just try to hurt him and then get rid of him. One of the slime. They're doing me all kinds of dirty. Rampage 12. And no, I won't be able to kill him. But I can do that and then do that. And then I can kill him and then I only have to worry about those two. Uh, so yeah. Uh, clap. Ooh, I want to defend. Ooh, I thought you wanted to defend. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. 
I am so dead. Well, this was my first run after I started recording. Yay! First pass. Anyway, at least I made it to the pass. 